Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to everybody. First of all, I would like to thank you for those who have subscribed the channel. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss what are the factor that can uh, contribute to inaccuracies of echo sounder. A lot of factors, a lot of factors that can contribute to the inaccuracy of echo sounder. But uh, we are going to discuss only six of them. Okay, first of all is the velocity of publication in water. As you all aware, this device use sound pulse to measure the distance by taking uh, the time taken for it to travel from uh, the transducer to the seabed and come back to the transducer. So the problem is the velocity of sound in water is not absolute. A few factors that, that can change the speed of sound in the water. The first one is the temperature of the water, the salinity of the water and the pressure of the water. This one of the variable in the formula is sound pulse speed and if the speed is changed means the distance will also change. Why the speed change? Because of these three factors which is temperature, salinity and pressure. So the next one is stylus speed error. The stylus is supposed to move at half speed of the sound pulse. So what happens if the stylus speed change? Maybe due to fluctuation in the voltage. The current which we supply to the echo sounder is fluctuating. Thus will affect the speed of the stylus. Or maybe because of the ship is vibrating. Or maybe because of the stylus is loose. When the speed of the stylus change, it will also affect the marking on the display or the marking on the chart. The third one is multipath echo. So multipath echoes we have discussed in other equipment as well. So what happened? The sound pulse travel from the transducer to the seabed, come back to the transducer and the same pulse being bouncing up and down. So what happened? You will see a few layers on the display. So there is few depths on the display. So usually we take the nearest one, the smallest one because we always want to be on the safe side, right? So we don't want to assume that the depth is small. We will always assume that the depth is less. And then thermal and density layers. So the density of water varies with temperature and salinity. So you all aware that we are not just uh, sailing in the sea. We also sail in the river. So there is a density changes in these two waters. Also there is a dock water in between sea water and Fresh water. So it is possible for the echoes to return from the these layers. So meaning to say the echo doesn't reach the seabed. Bounce due to the difference in the layers. Next one is zero line adjustment error. When the transducer start to send the pulse, the stylus supposed to be at the zero mark. If the zero adjustment is not correct, the depth recorder will not be correct. And another one is Pythagoras error. Okay, if you look back at the previous video, there is one transmitter and one receiver. So this transmitter and receiver are being placed apart from each other. So what happens is when the sound pulse is being transmitted, it will create an angle. We're supposed to measure the distance at 90 degree angle between keel and the seabed. But what happens is due to the positioning of transmitter and receiver, the, the angle is not 90 degree. Thus, it will create a Pythagoras error. Okay guys, that's all for today. I, I hope you guys understand what we have been discussing. So if there is any question, you can leave a comment and I will try to answer it in the next video. Thank you.